Hello, in this video we will discuss about the jundas. The jundas mean the J U A N D I C E. Jundas. It is a condition in which the skin whites of the eyes and mucous membranes turn yellow from the color less to the yellow because high level of bilirubin. A yellow orange bile pigment also. So bilirubin is major cause for the jaundice. So how it is possible? Let's begin to understand. Basically, the level of the bilirubin in our body should be normal. That will be okay. If increase, so it will uh, cause the jaundice. So the major causes can be hepatitis. Hepatitis means the liver problem. Gallstones. Gallstone means the gallbladder containing stone and tumor in the gallbladder. So the symptom can be a change in skin color, convert into the yellow, chills, and the fever, high fever, due to the inflammatory response, and the flu-like symptom also arise, and the abdominal pain, which that will indicate the symptom of the jaundice. While here is the urine will be dark color, for example, the too much yellowish orange yellowish or the dark color so on the other hand the dark color stool that means the bilirubin will increase in the di digestive system when excrete so that will be reabsorbed again so on the other hand the hidden symptom can be a weight loss more itchy skin abdominal pain inflammation of liver uh, as a hepatitis and type of skin disease the type of skin disease is very major cause. So anyhow, in this time we will discuss about the major causes. So let's begin to understand from here. So the reabsorption of the large hematoma. The hematoma reabsorption means the partially clotted or blood under the skin which that is due to the injury or something which that will lead to absorption because the red blood cell will convert into the globin and heme and um, biliveridine. So in this way here is the hemolytic anemia also the cause because the blood cells are destroyed and removed from the blood stream before their no normal lifespan is over. So that is why the breakdown will produce the biliveridine. Uh, Bilivaridine. So on the other hand, the viruses including the HAV, HBV, HCV that is also involved as well as alcohol. Why alcohol? Because the liver will be damaged and in this way the uh, red blood cell will be cause the problem and autoimmune disorder. Autoimmune auto disorder related to the RBC also. Basically the RBC will be damaged. A rare genetic metabolic disorder also cause. On the other hand, the contraceptives and anabolic steroids involved for these agendas causes and the gallstones and gallbladder, gallbladder cancer. So all this story we will discuss the pathophysiology of the agendas. So let's begin here is the blood circulatory system contain a RBC. RBC is a red blood cell. This RBC is the red blood cell which that will enter into the spleen and convert into the globin and heme. Heme means the iron containing protein. Why heme is the basically iron, so containing protein, and globin is the globulin, uh, globe, glo globe like protein, the glo glo globular protein, which that is converted into the amino acid and the heme oxygenase enzyme and bil bilveridine reductase enzyme will lead to separate the iron and bilveridine will produce. This bilveridine is conjugated bilirubin bil formation and this is the lipid soluble while this amino acid can be reused. And the lipid soluble conjugated bilirubin will go into the blood circulatory system and for example the increased RBC destruction will lead to increase the conjugated bilirubin. So the conjugated bilirubin will increase due to the blood incompatibility, for example the donor and recipient problem 
and the glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency and infection bruising and hemolytic anemia and the volume increase the lifespan de decrease so the hypoxia uh, hypoglycemia which that will be occur the hypoxia and hypoglycemia which that is also cause of the jundus while on the other hand here is the liver this spleen will convert the conjugated bilirubin which that go into the blood circulatory system and transport to the liver and the blood to bound the albumin also uh, albumin will also bound the conjugated bilirubin will become a water soluble when the albumin will be bound in, in the blood circulatory system so remember so in this way the decrease albumin binding which that is also cause of the jundus so the albumin level should be maintained and this is the pathophysiology we are getting to understand and uh, we are understanding so this glucose uh, sorry glucuronic acid which that is unconjugated bilirubin combined together and this combined together to basically is the gluco glucuronyl transferase enzyme use and the activity of liver conjugating enzyme will be decreased in this manner the conjugated bilirubin will be increased and this conjugated bilirubin water soluble will also go in, as a excretory product into the gallbladder as a waste because the excess of the bilirubin but in this case the gallbladder if damaged or gallstone will be, uh, will be occur so the blockage which that will lead to increase the conjugated bilirubin into the blood circulatory system and in liver will cause the jundus while on the other hand here the conjugated bilirubin will go into the small intestine as a waste and it will convert into the uh, stricobilin and the urobilinogen this is due to the microbacterial activity the microbiota are present in our digestive system will convert this uh, conjugated bilirubin into the urobilinogen urobilinogen and unconjugated bilirubin formation so the conjugated bilirubin will remain due to the deficiency of the bacteria will not convert into the unconjugated bilirubin so the unconjugated bilirubin will absorb into the blood circulatory system while the bacteria will not work so the conjugated bilirubin will absorb and this conjugated bilirubin will increase will lead to jundus and increase reabsorption and the unconjugated bilirubin will work another way which that is go again into the liver while the conjugated bilirubin which that circulate the excess will lead to cause jundus and intestinal bacteria will decrease intestinal motility decrease and dehydration constipation and beta glucuronidase activity when increase will lead to produce excess amount of the unconjugated bilirubin which that is also the cause of defect so the bacteria produce the beta glucuronidase enzyme while here is the stercobilin which that is excreted as a feces so we should get the stercobilin while the urobilinogen go into the kidney will convert into the urobilin excrete into the urine so that is why the yellowish color of the urine due to the uh, excretion of the bilirubin in the form of urobino urobilin urobilin so that's in summary if we will discuss the increase the rbc destruction will produce more bilirubin and decrease the albumin binding will also produce the more bilirubin insoluble in the water and the decrease the conjugation uh, uh, gilbert and the uh, kriegler and Najer syndrome and hypoxia hypoglycemia hypoxia mean will decrease the high, high oxygen will lead to damage the rbc and increase the reabsorption of the unconjugated bilirubin from the intestine so the unconjugated bilirubin reabsorb more so should be decreased due to the beta glucuronidase enzyme less activity and the movement and motility should be increased the digestive system will excrete further the uh, stercobilin will ca uh, not cause the jundus otherwise the jundus will cause so i hope you make sense about the causes of jundus 
and the pathophysiological effects so thanks for watching bye please make sure to subscribe